Hi guys, this is Dee. Um, I am here this morning to do actually a health and wellness video. I haven't done one of those in a while. Actually, an illness and unwellness video is more like it. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about appendicitis because I know it's kind of a, a big issue for parents, especially parents of little ones who are still nonverbal. Um, and with the wait times in the hospitals and that kind of thing, I think this will be helpful. I want to remind everyone before we get started that I'm a nurse. I'm a registered nurse. I've got lots of experience in Emerge and I'm, I, I stay up to date and I'm current, but I am not a doctor. I can't diagnose. And if any doubt, it's always best to always go and talk to a doctor. So what I'm going to give you today is a little bit of info, of info about the appendix and tell you things that you can look for that'll help point you in the direction of level of care that you need to get your child to if your child is having stomach pains and you do have concerns. So um, that might mean that they do have to go to eMERGE or maybe a family doctor is more appropriate, that sort of thing. So um, I'm going to uh, start with telling you where the appendix is. So just give me a, a second here. I'm going to do some amazing art. I think I did art on my old channel for you guys. I assure you, it's no better than it was then. Okay. Okay. So here's your bowel. Right here, that's your rectum. That's where you poop, okay? This is your ascending colon, your transverse colon, and then your descending colon. And right at the bottom of that, sorry, this is ascending, this is transverse, this is descending, and there's your rectum. So you're moving in that direction. So at the very end of this, the bottom, that little guy here, that's your appendix. So when that becomes large and inflamed, that's your appendicitis and that's what's causing all the pain, okay? So um, it's a very tiny little appendage and um, we're not really sure what it does yet and I'm not sure we ever will be, but it's there and um, it can be removed. It causes problems. And a lot of times now doctors don't and surgeons don't even opt to remove it. They'll, they'll treat it with antibiotics if, it, if you catch it early enough and um, if it, it's not so severe. So. The risk with appendix is that it'll get so severe and inflamed and, and it'll burst. And then you'll get infection that kind of pours out into your bloodstream and can make you sick everywhere and give you something called sepsis, which you don't want to have because that's a, a very, very, very serious illness. So this is what you're looking for with little ones. So first of all, your kids are going to be sick. They're not just going to be saying, my tummy hurts, my tummy hurts, and playing and laughing and running around and like eating crackers and like drinking juice and saying, yeah, my stomach hurts. If you have that going on, I would absolutely still take your child to the doctor, but I think that's a family doctor visit um, if the child's well. If the child is unwell, whether they have appendix symptoms or not, if they're unwell and they're complaining of pain at all, they need. They, I would take them to the hospital and get them checked out because that's unlikely for a child to complain of pain and want to stop playing and having fun. Um, so um, that that's that anyway. So what you're looking for specifically with regard to appendix, if you're not sure, is first have a look at your child. You're, these kids are going to be sick. They're going to either have vomiting and or diarrhea. They're going to have a fever most often, sometimes not. I've seen it with no fever at all, um, but that is rare. It's uncommon. Um, they're going to have severe stomach pain. It's going to be on the lower right hand side of their abdomen, usually parallel to their belly button or below. That doesn't mean it can't be anywhere else. In children, quite often, appendix pain will start somewhere else, like on the left side or in the middle, and move. So any pain that's below or equal to the belly button and down is a concern, it's a risk. I would not recommend poking away at it, but if the child does let you touch it a little and you're able to compress a tiny bit, if they're, if they're comfortable with it and it's not hurting too badly, if they go through the roof in pain when you let go, that's called rebound pain. There's pain when you push and pain when you let go. And pain when you let go, rebound pain, is very indicative of appendicitis. So if you're seeing that happening, 
then that is more indicative of an emergency and something they need to be seen in the emerge for immediately. The other thing you're gonna see is they're not gonna to wanna to straighten their legs. They wanna bend their legs, they wanna keep them curled up. You ask them to straighten them, they're gonna fight you. They don't wanna do it. It hurts a lot. They might do it, but they're not gonna like it and you're gonna see it. They're gonna wince, they're not gonna be happy. Um, and sometimes if a child has mild symptoms, you're not sure. You couldn't, if they're still playing a little bit, but they don't look right to you, they don't look well, they are complaining of a bit of pain, they're not really eating, they're, they don't, they look like crap. You can say, you know, can you jump up and down? Jump up and down for mommy or daddy. And if, if the child can jump and there's no problems, that's a little better. But if the child can't jump or they jump and scream, that's indicative of appendicitis. Append kids with bad appendix, they're not gonna jump for you. That is really gonna hurt it quite a bit. And I, I know it sounds awful to be hurting your child, but it's um, you're not, you're just narrowing down symptoms. And at the very least, what you're doing is with the nonverbal child, gathering information that you can tell the triage nurse so they can have a better chance of assessing your child right away, more accurately, so that they have an appropriate wait time. So you wanna be able to give them as much information as possible. So the triage is as accurate as possible for them because your triage is what's gonna determine whether you wait for five hours or half an hour, whether they page a surgeon right away to come and check your kid out or whether you wait for a doctor to see your kid and then they page a surgeon and then you wait another five hours for the surgeon. So these things are important. Um, if your child has none of these symptoms, but the stomach pain is really painful, it's really hurting them and they're uncomfortable, get them into the eMERGE because kids just don't suffer and wanna skip out on life just to be in pain. That's, that's not a kid thing to do. And a child that's talking, piece of cake, they're gonna tell you all these things. They're gonna say, yeah, mommy, it hurts to straighten my legs. I don't wanna do it, it hurts. Do I have to? They're gonna say, and you're gonna say, can I touch your tummy? And they're gonna say, no, 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 please don't touch my tummy. So, and even little ones, they'll guard, they'll be guarding. Like when you go to touch the tummy, they'll they'll freeze up, they'll tense up because they're afraid of you doing it even without speaking a word. So there's things to watch for, um, but just keep in mind they're gonna be sick. If, if, if a child's complaining of anything that's ongoing and a doctor tells you they're fine, you go into a merge, they do a CAT scan, there's no appendicitis, nothing's wrong with the kid. And the kid's still having pain and discomfort. You go to the family doctor, family doctor says nothing's wrong with the kid. But you in your gut feel like something's wrong with your kid. Something isn't right. Anyone who has any experience is gonna tell you to go with your gut and keep going, keep going back. Whether it's the same doctor, different doctors, keep going, keep going. Because you know your child better than anybody. And if your child isn't themselves, there's a reason for it. And sometimes they'll say they're in pain in one place when really the pain is somewhere else and they don't tell you honestly because either they're scared or because they can't describe it and they don't know how to describe it. There's many reasons why kids will mislead you, but at the end of the day, something isn't right. So you know when something isn't right. I would push for tests if the doctor is, if the family doctor, if this isn't an emergency situation and you go to the family doctor or the family doctor wants to write them off and you know something isn't right, I would push for blood work, push for an ultrasound where the pain is. If it's stomach pain, ask for an ultrasound. If it's anywhere else, like in there, if it's a headache or something, ask for a CAT scan. Like ask for tests to be done, push for diagnostics to be done. Definitely blood work. It's uncomfortable, no one likes it, but it tells us a lot and it will give a, a much better indicator as to whether the, the kid's okay or whether there's something else going on. But um, stick to your guns and, um, you know, people make mistakes. Doctors are just like, they're, they're normal people. Nurses are normal people, just like teachers and everybody else. Anyone can make a mistake. Not to say that um, it happens all the time. Our eMERGE doctors are pretty good. They're, they're quite brilliant. They're educated really well and they have a lot, a lot of experience before they're practicing on their own. So you can usually really count on what they're saying. But um, you know, if you have it in your gut that they're wrong or that something up, something's up and something's still going on, just be persistent and keep going back to the doctor and uh, fight your case because um, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, you're not out to make friends, you're out to make sure your child's well. So that is all I have to say. And again, I'm not a doctor, I, I can't give advice and 
Um, if unsure, always get in there, have a doctor have a look, and they can help you diagnose. But if you do see any of those things that we talked about, get your child into the eMERGE immediately. Um, if your child's in any kind of extreme pain and, and, they're, and they're not well, get them into the eMERGE. It doesn't matter if they make you feel stupid or however long you have to wait, get in there. You'll always be happy you did. You'll never leave at the end of the day and say, damn, I wish I didn't go there because you know, it's, it's never a waste of time. And that one day something actually is wrong. You'll sure be grateful that you did take that chance and go. So that's all I have to